Fiscal policy tax reform, rollback in regulations, good idea? Of course. Of course. The Big concept impact. of the government saying to a bank, yeah, you, sh you shouldn't buy that because it's wrong. Wrong by who? Right? I, I like the idea that says you shouldn't buy that if you do not have the capital to support it. Mm -hmm. That's practical. And look, the banks, that's what you get from 08. That's what you get. Right? You shouldn't be able to buy it if you don't have the capital. But to suggest you can't buy it because it's the vocal rule is wrong, I think that is silly. I think that should go away. Mm. I think the administration thinks it's going to go away and is going to work on going it away. And then the banks will be able to trade more. They'll be able to provide more client service. And the banks will do really well. So I would and suggest... They, and you get more volatility. I would suggest, <laughs> I do. I get more business from the banks, who I love. But the banks' business is going to get better. And therefore, the banks' financials numbers are going to get better. You give banks interest rates and you give them the ability to trade, you're going to see lovely results the second half of this year from all financials. I, I could not agree with you more. We are entering a period right now of perfection for the financial services. You've got to roll back in regulations, economic growth, um, and higher interest rates. So it's, it's pretty good. What did you make of the Atlanta Fed coming out with that stunning GDP prediction? First, they were at 5.4%, and they said, no, 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 first quarter, 4%. I mean, 4% is doable in, in 2018, isn't it? it, it it's, I would never have thought, if you had asked me last year, I wouldn't have thought it possible. But I, I think the reason it's possible is they just changed the rules of the world. They used to say... If you keep your money overseas, you're much better off. Why that was our rule, I, I don't know. But now, you bring it back. And you're going to be taxed on it whether you bring it back or not. So you bring it back. And how about this? The UK, it used to be our tax rate was 35, the UK was 28, Ireland was 12. Where are you going to do your business? Now, the UK is 28, we're 21. Where are you going to do your business? You have Apple bringing back $38 billion. You have all this money right. coming back to America. Yeah. It's going to be good for America. And that might be the adrenaline pump that gets us to 4%, which would be amazing. Yeah. And right. it would be exactly, you know, people said the president, you know, was just over speaking. You know, if he hits 4%. Pretty darn impressive. I want to get your take on what the growth at Newmark tells us about real estate today. Can you give us a status check? Because people are worried as a result of the tax law that there will be some real estate changes. For example, exodus out of New York because you're losing the state deduction. Um, even with an economy getting better, you're seeing the high end in real estate come down a bit, no? I think the, the elimination of the state and local taxes, right, that was offset somewhat by uh, the lower head rate, right? Went from 39.6 to 36. That's true. So the, the real marginal cost to someone in New York like myself is, okay, it's two or three points. Right. Right, and Bill Clinton... So you don't think it's going to be a big deal? Well, Bill Clinton took the rate from 36 to 39.6, which was a bigger tax hike. And you know what? Not a big deal. We live in America. Mm -hmm. if, if people like us are going to pay a little bit more tax, so what? Right. It's a great place. I, I think New York is the heartbeat of commerce in the United States of America, and commerce is coming back with a lower tax rate, I think you're going to see New York perform admirably, shockingly well. Howard, it's great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us.